Hey guys, in this video we will be focusing on two sequence. Once one is the the first one is to navigate in the work items, and then the next one is extracting the data table from the system one application. So let's go ahead and start with the navigate work item sequence. So create new sequence and name that navigate work items. And make sure to select the system one folder for the location and hit this create button and before you get started i forgot to remind that you should have the system one application open so here the first activity that we need is the attach browser activity so go ahead and search for that activity and indicate the this page and then once you are here the next activity that we need is the click activity so go ahead and drag that in here and then indicate the work items button let me just check the selector if that's correct yep that's correct and let's use simulate click make sure to set that to true so it will work even if it's on the uh, back of the open application so that's all that we need for the navigate work item sequence so after you complete this two activity make sure to save that now we can close okay i think it's it's better if we try this since this does not require any argument we can test it here so run file okay I did not see what happened yep navigate there let me just try it again run file <laughs> okay it's not showing it but uh, it was able to navigate to the work items page so again that's all that we need for this sequence so let me close that one now the next one is the extract data table so go back again to the project panel click the new sequence then let's name this one extract data table and again make sure to select system one for the folder location and hit this create button So here, um, okay, what we need to use in here is the, wait, make sure to activate the work item page before you get started. So here we need to use this data scraping. So click that and hit the next button then click anywhere from the table and then you will be asked if you want to extract the whole table just select yes and then here make sure to put zero in here as instructed on the guideline and then hit finish so then it will ask you if data spanning multiple page yes because we have multiple pages in here so go ahead and hit this yes button in here and then we need to click this next button all right i hope that i was able to click the correct button and here on the ex track structured data table you can see that it has an output property and automatically it created a variable the default name is extract data table so here we need to create one out argument so let's name that out data and make sure that the, that the direction is out and the argument type should be data table okay and then we need to add an activity after extracting the table we need to have an assign activity 
So go ahead and drag that in here. So we need to assign the value of extracted data table to the out data argument. And I think that's all that we need in here. So let me save that. And let me check if you were able to create it correctly. So let me test this one. Let me check if this will navigate to all the pages. Okay, what's happening now? Is it working? What happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were on the right page. Let me try it again. So run file. Okay, I think I click a wrong button. Maybe we need to rework it. So yeah, nothing is happening. Let me stop that. So, okay, let's delete that. But don't delete the argument and the, yeah, the argument that we created. But before I started again, I will just set my um, display setting or the resolution to 100% to make sure that I will capture it correctly. So, go back to the studio. And activate this uh, work item page. Now select data scraping and hit next. Click anywhere from the table. Select yes, we want to extract the whole table. Make sure to change this to zero and then hit the finish. Then hit yes in here, yes, because we have multiple pages in here. And then we need to select this button. There you go. So again, uh, it was assigned on the data table, extract data table um, variable. So we need to get the assigned activity in here. Oh. We need to pass the value of extract data table to the out data argument. And let's save that. Now let me check if this will work. Okay, it should activate the page. There you go, it's working now. So, it's a good practice or it, it's advisable that you always set your resolution or your um, display to 100% not 125 not 150 it should be 100 percent so your uh, element indication is accurate like on this one you were able to complete this task so what's going on now yeah uh, it's still working i think um, it's processing the assign activity
okay and it's good and well we did not receive any error so this sequence should be good now and again make sure to save that and well that's all for this video for now on the um next video we'll focus on the main main workflow so bye for now see you again on the next one